This is a short video about using tables for direct variation. Alright, let's move into a question. What is 6% of 500 dirhams? What we need to do is put this information in a table. A table should have three rows and two columns. The top row will have the headings. The remaining rows have the information that we want. So we've said what is 6% of 500 dirhams? Well we know the total amount is 500 dirhams and the total amount is 100%. We want to know 6%. This is the quantity that we're looking for. So we've got two fractions. We've got 100 over 6 and we've got 500 over a question mark. We can invert this. 6 on 100 equals question mark over 500 and for some students this will be easier to handle. What we do is we use a triangle to solve for the unknowns. So we get a triangle. Here it is. So for this triangle what we need to do is we multiply on the hypotenuse and we divide by the uh, value that's at the right angle. So here we go. Multiply on the hypotenuse, divide by the value that's at the right angle. Let's just check, see. Multiply on the hypotenuse, divide by the value at the right angle. And this equals 30. 30 what? It's 30 dirhams has to be dirhams because it goes in the dirhams column. All right, let's look for something that's a little bit more difficult. But before we do that, we have to make a table and that table has to have headings. The headings help to ensure that we put things in the right columns. All right, 30 dirhams is 6% of what amount? So we need to make the table, three rows and two columns. We make sure that we've got headings and this dirhams here. All right, 30 dirhams is 60%. Is 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 an equals word, so it is 6%. Sorry, so there's six. 30 dirhams is 6% of what amount? What we want to find is the 100%. So here, here's my question mark. So here's my triangle, here's the diagonal, here's the right angle. 30 times 100 divided by 60. 30 times 100 divided by 60 equals 500 dirhams. It's that easy, Corey.